happening, saving babies' lives. Percent of babies die. Uh, by far, the majority of babies who survive have lasting problems, many of which are severe. It's a new educational program to prevent shaken baby syndrome. Shaken baby syndrome became well known after the Epens lost their infant son at the hands of their nanny. Such a terrible tragedy. And now there's a new training program. It's funded in part by the Maddie Epen Foundation, and it's teaching child and health care professionals how to help prevent such tragedies from occurring. Did you drop him to the floor? It's been more than 10 years since au pair Louise Woodward was convicted of shaking to death eight-month-old Matthew Epen while she was caring for the infant. This training today specifically targets um, shaken baby and how to cope with a small, colicky, crying infant. Now, child advocates have created a prevention program. It's designed to teach community outreach and other professionals how to give parents and other caregivers the tools they need to avoid abusing children. It's called Babies Cry, Have a Plan. With the right sets of stresses in our life, anyone is vulnerable to just grabbing that child and, and not really thinking it through. This helps you to understand what the consequences of that action would be. It looks something like... Training shows how violent the shaking is, potentially causing brain injury, seizure disorders, and mental retardation. It's estimated that 25% of shaken babies die, and the majority have long-term injuries. Shaking an infant is provoked by crying and by inconsolable crying. Nobody ever looks ahead and says, I'm really going to lose it and shake my baby today. Pediatrician Alice Newton says all parents should devise a plan on what they will do to keep in control. Take a break, uh, do something for yourself, make sure if you can that you get some exercise, that you have some time to yourself. Boy, is that important advice. Experts say child abuse often happens when a parent or caregiver feels isolated, so it's so important to know resources are available through parenting hotlines, pediatricians, and on the web, including onetoughjob.org, onetoughjob.org. For more information, you can go to our website, thebostonchannel.com. Yeah, write out, write out the word one, O-N-E, you know, not the number or W-N-E. It is o -N -E. one tough job. And it is, it is the, the most. It's the most important job you'll ever do, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yep.